The thing about being a bridesmaid is it never gets any easier. The Vancouver Whitecaps lost 5-2 to Toronto FC Wednesday in the second leg of the Canadian Championship Final at BMO Field. It was the fourth time the Caps have lost to the Reds in the championship game as a major soccer league team, and the sixth time overall. Tied 2-2 coming into the second leg, but Toronto leading on away goals, the Whitecaps found themselves in a cavernous hole after a five-minute spell before halftime saw strikes from Josie Altidore and Sebastian Giovinco. Any hope died just minutes into the second half when Altidore scored two more goals during a four-minute span. There would be no miracle comeback even after K. Kamara pulled one back in the 63rd minute, then Breck Shea banged home a loose ball in the 77th minute. The Caps didn't fold their tents, playing gamely through the remainder of the match, but it felt inevitable until TFC raised the Voyagers Cup for the third consecutive year, especially after Toe St. Ricketts nodded home Toronto's fifth goal in the 81st minute. Here's what else we learned. Get what you pay for Vancouver Whitecaps forward Jordi Reyna, left dives to get a header in front of Toronto FC defender Chris Mavinga during first half action in the Canadian Championship Finals second leg. Chris Young, the Canadian pressed the final score belied a first half that was relatively even through the first 30 minutes. Jordi Reyna punched a header wide from 5 yards out in the 6th minute, while Giovinco had a close in attempt sky just over the bar from 7 yards out minutes later. But slowly, TFC began to assert themselves and were rewarded following a sustained bout of pressure when Marco Delgado's flick though to an on-rushing Altidore resulted in the opening goal in the 39th minute. Giovinco's header four minutes later was symptomatic of the opening half, which saw the Reds outshoot the Caps 9-2 overall, and 5-0 on target. The Italian striker, the league's highest-paid player, is now the Canadian Championship's all-time leading scorer, with six goals. Altidore, US $5 million, and Giovinco, $7.1 million, make nearly $4 million more than the entire Whitecaps roster, $8.2 million. And the $6.5 million Michael Bradley earns, he assisted on the fifth goal and ran the Reds' midfield, and it's clear the difference the big-ticket player can make. Booster Juice Vancouver Whitecaps forward Alfonso Davies leaps over Toronto FC defender Justin Morrow's challenge during first half action in the Canadian Championship Finals second leg. Chris Young, the Canadian press with the Caps trailing 3-0, Alfonso Davies and Christian Tecara were subbed off in the 51st minute, giving way to Shea and Nicolas Mesquita. Mesquita sprung Kamara loose for his third Canadian Championship goal before the veteran striker headed to the bench for sub Eric Hurtado. Hurtado continued his strong run of form, his cross setting up Shea's goal, and was unlucky not to score himself when his powerful 84th minute volley was turned aside by Toronto's Clint Irwin. It was an impressive show of depth from the Caps but it also means Kamara, Davies and Tecara could be available for Saturday's showdown with the New York Red Bulls at BC. Place Stadium By the numbers the possession numbers, as expected, tilted heavily in Toronto's favor, 61-39%, but the biggest disparities came in shots on target, 13-4, and corners, 10-1. Vancouver had issues defending set pieces, with Altidore scoring off a corner and Ricketts off a set piece kick from a wide, low position. Toronto has just six set piece goals in league play, tied for the third fewest in MLS play. It was Toronto's seventh Canadian Championship title, with five of them coming in the MLS era. Montreal has three banners, two as an MLS team, and the Caps bring up the rear with one win in 2015. Vancouver has been a runner-up seven times, we're playing for our jobs if Caps' best hope for any kind of silverware ended at the hands of TFC. Their odds of making the postseason are hovering around 27% even though they're only two points back of sixth place Real Salt Lake with 10 games left, there have been several reports of Carl Robinson's staff not having their contracts renewed, which doesn't bode well for his future as head coach.
when asked about it on field after the game by TSN's Christian Jack, Caps midfielder Russell Tybert said, We're playing for our jobs. Jadams at postmedia.com Next game New York Red Bulls at Vancouver Whitecaps 4 p.m. BC. This stadium, TSN 1 5th, TSN 14 10 a.m. CLICK here to report a typo. Is there more to this story? We'd like to hear from you about this or any other stories you think we should know about. Email vantips at postmedia.com.